When you sleep in a typical car, you are totally exposed, right? I mean, there are windows in every direction, and with that can come a variety of concerns that would make the sleep that you seek less than sound. I know that personally as I began prepping for a long stint of living out of my Toyota Prius there, this gave me a lot of anxiety. I mean, it could result in a police officer knocking on the window with a concern. It could mean a sketchy dude knocking on the window asking for money for the bus or something. And worst of all, it could mean not feeling comfortable sleeping in your underwear on a hellacious hot Texas night. When you're doing some vehicular dwelling, especially in urban environments, privacy is key. And in this video, I'm gonna cover the best solutions for achieving this, both the DIY options and off the shelf, or off the internet. Hopefully by the end, you'll know which one or two will best meet your needs. And you will of course find links to all the items I talk about in the description of this video. Let's get it started. Reflectix. One of the most common solutions you see people using for their windows are these custom cut cardboard panels with Reflectix material attached. And in terms of value per dollar spent, this one is really hard to beat. So I give it props there. I mean, you get all the materials you need for around $20. The material is perfectly opaque for total privacy. It's easily set up and taken down and it's going to help insulate the interior of your vehicle. Getting your windows shaped just right so there are not any gaps for people to see in can be a bit of a challenge. Also, to go from sleeping mode to normal usage mode, or simply to roll your windows down, you have to put these panels up and take them down every time. Like In other words, it's not a set it and forget it solution like some of the others I'll talk about later. Third, while the material being totally opaque is great for preventing people from being able to see in, the downside, or the other edge of this sword, is that it prevents you from being able to see out. You can't wake up seeing the beautiful view that your campsite and wheels permits. You can't see the parking authority who just pulled up behind you intending to write you a ticket, allowing you to jump into the driver's seat and take off really quickly, as I have done. You, you can't see the creep who might be just outside your vehicle, scoping it out, wondering, hmm, I wonder if there's any refried beans in there that I can steal. Having privacy doesn't necessarily mean giving up this awareness to your surroundings. More on that later. Lastly, not attracting attention can be one of a vehicle dweller's best weapons against problems. Many folks understandably don't want their neighborhood to become the next hobo hotspot, and they may take actions to make you feel unwelcome. Reflectix material on full display blocking the rear area of a vehicle may be sending a message to the local t-ball coach that you're not intending to send. I live outside the law, I'm low on funds, and I'm your new neighbor. What's up? Ha <laughs> ha, where your kids at? Off the shelf products. A search for vehicle window privacy options or window shades on Amazon is gonna bring about no shortage of cheap products that all promise to give you the uh, effect that you're looking for. And as a frugal dude, I would love for these to be great products. I would love to endorse them. But sadly, these options are likely a fast track to disappointment. Vehicle windows are not created equal, so digging into the reviews of many seemingly interesting options, you'll see complaints of a product not being tall enough or not being wide enough to cover their whole window. And for your rear window, good luck. This is not to say that there is nothing in this realm of cheapy products that's worth a look. I mean, a relatively new thing that I've seen a lot that seems to have solved the one size fits none problem facing so many others are these mesh window coverings that are kind of like pantyhose for your windows. These can be taken off and put on very easily and you can even roll the window down to allow ventilation without sacrificing your privacy. Best of all, this material is almost perfect for keeping bugs out. But a potential downside here is that this material sits on the exterior of the window and I'm not sure how well it's gonna hold up to long-term continuous use. It's likely best to put them on and take them off as needed. So not a set it and forget it option either. Further, these are only gonna work on the windows of your doors. On the Prius, that leaves me with four additional windows if I wanted to have privacy. Despite a few caveats, these really are a stellar value. I mean, you get two of them for under $15. And like I said, the, the bug net thing and the ability to roll your window down, uh, having these, like while they're not gonna be the perfect privacy solution that fixes all your needs, I think in conjunction with something else we talk about, they'd be a great addition to anybody's kit. Limo tent. 
How about I just black out all the rear windows of my vehicle with limo tent? Well, ask some random dude and they may tell you how any amount of tenting is fine on the rear windows. Well, that's one way to learn about the law. My preferred method is to seek counsel from our future Lord and Savior, the Googles. Now, it doesn't matter if you have a friend who knew a guy who's been driving for 10 years with blackout tent across his entire windshield. Here are the facts. Laws on window tinting are set at the state level. That means that the permissible percentage of visual light transmission, as well as factors like the reflectivity and the color of the film, will differ based on where you're located. The great thing about Limo Tent, though, is it gives you a large degree of privacy, doesn't keep you from seeing out during the day, and doesn't obstruct rolling down the windows. I mean, it's a set it and forget it solution. The downside, though, is that it, it is quite difficult to see out the window at night. But the main issue for me is living with the anxiety of having a target on my back. I want zero attention from law enforcement. It's not that I'm doing anything illegal or that all cops are dicks, but it's always a roll of the dice. Will they realize that you're car camping, consider you a deviant, and then use your window tent to cite you as a way to combat what they see as a harmful trend? Will you accidentally find yourself in a sketchy part of town where the cops are on edge about the dangers that can be lurking behind darkly tinted windows, resulting in a high stress situation for the both of you? This shit happens. And I'd rather just, nope. But if you wish to go this route, you can have a vendor apply some window tinting for like $100 to $300, depending on your location and the quality. Uh, you probably more than the $100 range if you're just finding some bro on Craigslist. Or you can attempt to put them on yourself for around $30 in materials. There's plenty of YouTube videos where you can learn about exactly how to do that. As you can probably tell by now, I spent a lot of time trying to find what was the best car privacy options, and I wanted to have all the efficiency benefits of limo tinting, minus the fear of attracting the attention of law enforcement. My solution that I showed off in my original Prius Living video of 2017 was to use blank perforated vinyl. When you've seen a picture of a logo printed on the window of a retail space or a vehicle with a graphics wrap, it was likely printed on perforated vinyl. This material is basically a vinyl sticker with a pattern of holes punched in it. It's black on the inside and white on the outside, which allows you to see out with ease, but it's very difficult for someone to see in. Another benefit that it has over tinting is how much easier it is to apply the material yourself. The only tool you need is a razor or a box cutter. You pull off the sticker backing, stick it on your window and cut around the edges. And if you mess up, hey, simply pull it back off and try again. The adhesive is surprisingly forgiving. I mean, I tried like four different times on my first window and it's held on for well over two years and shows no signs of coming off anytime soon. As far as insulation benefits, since the material sits on the exterior of the glasses window, a majority of the UV rays never even enter the vehicle, unlike with the reflectance panels which sit on the inside. And when trying to reduce the greenhouse effect, this is significant. While Reflectix looks trashy and Limo Tint looks shady, Perf Vinyl is a material that's associated with businesses. I've been pulled over a couple times and I've even had my car searched near the El Paso border and not one of these guys mentioned a single negative word about my use of vinyl over the windows. I mean, maybe that's why they searched me. Upsides, excellent privacy in the day. It's set it and forget it. The white color in conjunction with sitting on the exterior of the window help a lot with insulation and it does not impede rolling down the window. I know a lot of people were concerned about the material, you know, getting like peeled up or something when you try to roll down the window. That doesn't happen. There are a couple downsides. It's hard to see out the material when it's wet and running a light inside at night can be seen from the outside. I mean, there's a limit to how much perf vinyl can do. You can buy enough material to do this yourself for under $50. And like I said, it's a lot easier to apply than tenting. Fabric and magnets. Another cool idea I've seen from folks is cutting out fabric into the shape of their windows, sewing rare earth magnet into the edges, and then attaching it either to the metal of the door frame on the like outside, or to pieces of metal that they adhered around the window's frame. Literally any practical use of magnets gets me excited. This method allows users to quickly and easily put their window coverings up and tear them down as needed. And while it's not the best ventilation, you can still roll your windows down. Since this is usually done with black fabric from the outside when the windows are up anyway, it just looks like they're tented. The downsides to this are not being able to see your surroundings and based on how you set yours up, you may even need to open your door a bit in order to take it down. And that's not ideal for me because what if there's a bear right outside there and you didn't know? What if there's a sketchy dude? 
What if there's a sketchy bear? I ain't trying to deal with no sketchy bears. The final option I want to cover are window shades from a company called Car Shades. These metal framed mesh panels are made to perfectly fit and cover 100% of your vehicle's rear windows. Using the included metal tabs, they quickly pop in and lock into place. And when you want to take them out, it's just as easy. But if you're like me, because you're still able to see out just fine, I would just leave them up pretty much all the time. From the outside, it simply looks like your windows are tinted. The best part, on hot summer days, you can even roll your windows down and they stay securely in place. This means that you can keep cool, maintain a decent level of privacy, and keep most bugs from entering. Is it the greatest bug net in the world? No, it's not as good as the mesh thing that I talked about earlier, but if you deem it necessary, all it would take is like $10 at a fabric store to do a little DIY modification to make it a finer net. When I first read the price for car shades for the Prius, it sounded too steep for a frugal bastard like me, but after realizing how versatile these things are, I'd now argue that it's well worth the price if you can swing it. When you buy shades from them, they are not too short, not too loose, not mass market junk. They're made to be perfect for your vehicle. Another thing that's changed my tune on this is how the price is about the same as it would cost to have window tinting installed. And in my opinion, the value of this product far exceeds window tinting. Okie dokie. At this point, I've talked about six options and gave you a rundown of their benefits and caveats. And the greatest thing is though, you don't have to choose just one. Get creative. The right choice for you might be a cocktail. Personally, I love the combination of perforated vinyl with the car shades. The perf vinyl is already great, but adding car shades allows me to further boost my privacy when desired, say when working on my laptop at night. And of course, I can also ventilate the interior without getting taken over by bugs. Something else you could do is have some sneaky dark tinted windows hidden underneath your perforated vinyl. I actually got a little bit of that myself. Don't you tell nobody about that. Each of these items I mentioned will be linked in this video's description. And if you're new to this channel and you get goosebumps from words like practicality, convenience, versatility, especially when achieved at a low price tag, then you are my people. Consider subscribing. If you found this video to be helpful, give it one of these guys. Lastly, what are your thoughts? Do you disagree? Did I miss a good one? Uh, let me know in that comment box. I reply to like every comment that I get. So good luck on your privacy endeavors and until next time, take it easy. Don't you tell nobody about that.